South Carolina is now the first in the nation primary. Mm -hmm. Do you anticipate being on the ballot in South Carolina for the primary season? And Absolutely. if so, what has changed from your approach last time around? I don't know so much that my approach has changed. I think in many ways the country has changed. I think at that time Democrats were very, very interested in defeating uh, President Trump, which they will also be interested in, of course, in 24, if in fact he's the nominee. But there's more of a sense this time that something deeper is wrong in this country, that it's not simply a matter of one candidate or another, that there's a fundamental um, course correction that is needed, and that fundamental correction is economic. Uh, we have 20% of Americans who live within an economy that works for us, and that 20% are surrounded by a sea of economic despair. You know, only 38% of the jobs in South Carolina pay a middle-class salary. We have one in four Americans who live with medical debt. We have people rationing their insulin. You don't have this in any other advanced democracy because they all have universal health care. And people on both left and right, Democrats and Republicans, want this. Same with uh, tuition free or near tuition free college and tech school. Democrats and Republicans want it. It's in every other advanced democracy. So Americans are waking up to the fact that we've been trained to expect too little, whether it is those things, whether it has to do with paid family leave, whether it has to do with a guarantee living wage. Americans um, ha have been taught to limit our political imaginations. And when you see what the citizens of every other advanced democracy are given, the things that I just mentioned, those are considered moderate positions in all other countries and they should be in ours as well.